Are you struggling to generate that effortless ATP racket flip on your forehand? Well, in today's video, you're gonna get access to my three best drills that I've used to transform hundreds of player strokes to develop the world-class ATP racket flip. These are the same drills that I've learned from some of the best coaches in the world, including legendary master Rick Macy. And I'm confident that if you adopt a positive, confident mindset and just go out and apply these drills, it's gonna work for you and you're gonna develop world-class technique. Now, real quick, before we dive in and master these three drills, if at any moment you're interested in learning about a revolutionary new system that is designed using the most accelerated learning techniques in the world, you can click the link in the description to learn about the forehand transformation system. It has over 25 drill videos, step-by-step, -step, designed to translate the world's best information and program it into your unconscious muscle memory. So if any time you wanna check that out, click the link below and let's jump right in. In this first drill, you're gonna learn and master exactly how to do that. The first secret to generating the ATP racket flip has everything to do with where you set your racket during the backswing. If we look at the three greatest forehands of all time, Federer, Djokovic, Nadal, you'll see that when they execute their backswing position, they're all gonna achieve this identical configuration. And the most common mistake that stops hardworking players like yourself from creating the racket flip, which allows you to generate that fluid, effortless contact in topspin, is that backswing position. So the secret is to make sure that when you set your racket during the backswing, you're gonna have your right arm lined up with your right hip, the racket above and away from the hand at about a 45 degree angle, which is created by the wrist being in an extended position. Common mistake number one is that players will do what's called the pre-flip. They'll set their racket, but then right before they swing, they'll flip their racket back and then swing. Whereas the flip is actually an unconscious motion. In other words, if we look at these world-class players again, and we also look at them from a side angle, you'll see that the racket actually isn't gonna go back until the arm goes forward. And a really common mistake so many players make is rather than letting the arm pull the racket and create that flip to get that massive spin, they're actually just gonna set their racket back and then, then swing. So the key checkpoint and drill for you to implement the next time you step on the court, which I've used to transform hundreds of players' stroke, is you're just gonna get your racket set with your right arm in line with your right hip, the tip up and away, and very fluidly, just focus on what's making the racket go back is the arm going forward. If you're still struggling with that, an even better way to focus is grip the racket with your top two fingers, do one shadow, and then have your ball machine or your favorite hitting partner feed you. You're gonna feel that amazing racket flip and that massive top spin going forward and out into the shot. So that's drill number one. After you've mastered that, let's graduate on to drill number two. Does your forehand feel very tight or really weak? What is the secret of you being able to generate that very fluid, effortless whip-like force while creating your racket flip? This has everything to do with exactly what we're gonna master right now in drill number two. Now, after you've gone through and mastered your ability to prep the racket up on this side of the body, the second element that you must master is your ability to now not just start in that position, but rather, be able to fluidly achieve the backswing position in a very fluid manner. The step-by-step -step checkpoint that you wanna follow and the common mistake that so many players make is when they execute their backswing, either number one, their racket will be too much on this side of their body. And what that does is it creates that tension in the arm and it doesn't allow you to generate that very fluid whip-like action we see the best players in the world like Nadal, Federer, and Djokovic doing. The second common mistake that so many players make is when they do their backswing, their racket will travel back and too far behind the body, which although it allows you to generate easier power from your arm, it doesn't allow you to generate the components of the ATP forehand, which is both massive power and massive spin. So in this specific step-by-step -step drill, what you're gonna focus on achieving is starting with your arm 
in a bent position of about 45 to 90 degrees, where your right arm is gonna be positioned to the side fence such that your wrist should be oriented towards your side fence with the strings just like that. What you're gonna focus on is, if we pull out Nadal's stroke frame by frame to mine right now, you'll see that when Nadal straightens his arm down, he will then simultaneously accelerate his arm forward as it's straightening. What this does is it creates an additional flip force, which is gonna allow you to create that huge, massive flip. So the step-by-step -step checkpoints, you're gonna start with the bent, very fluid, drop and pull. Right away, you're just gonna feel this unbelievable spin occurring on the shot. It's gonna feel so good, straightening it and accelerating. And I can tell you from somebody who used to spend hours just beating away at the ball, trying my hardest, it was so frustrating because I didn't understand the real checkpoints and the real scientific reasons as to what creates the flip. But by adopting these drills right away, you're going to feel that massive flip. So I'm so excited for you to apply these drills, thinking big. Now let's go over to the last and the best drill that's going to piece it all together. Let's close with drill number three. <coughs> All right, world-class athlete, we're now ready to piece it all together and execute a full ATP style forehand with that massive racket flip. By this point, you've now mastered backswing checkpoint number one, the fluid backswing checkpoint. We're gonna piece it all together with the final drill. Now, if these drills have been amazing for you and you wanna learn about a step-by-step -step system that you can use to take all of this and program it into your unconscious muscle memory. Because isn't it true? You might have watched the YouTube video in the past, gotten excited, but when you stepped on the court, you just kept making the same mistakes over and over again. That's all solved with the forehand transformation system. It's a revolutionary new offer you can check out right now by clicking the link on this page right now. But let's jump in to this third and final drill. So the specific step-by-step -step checkpoints is in our last drill, we were focusing on fluidly dropping and accelerating. And in this last section, we're gonna piece it all together, starting from the ATP unit turn checkpoint. So let's go and pull out those top three great players again from both angles. You'll see that the unit turn checkpoint is the racket is gonna be gripped by the choke at about eye level, internally rotated about 20 degrees, the wrist in an extended position, and the elbow at about a 90 degree angle. So focus on achieving these key checkpoints. Splitting, key checkpoints. Splitting, key checkpoints. You're gonna be able to fluidly drop and accelerate just like that from this position. Just like that. All right, world-class athlete, I hope you absolutely love, love, love this video. If you loved it, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and I really wanna encourage you to have that positive mindset. Believe that you can execute world-class technique because it wasn't too long ago where I was stepping out here playing with awful technique, so frustrated, but because I had the learning mindset and I was humble enough to learn from some of the world's best coaches, I was able to transform and solve hundreds of other students. So maintain that mindset, think big. If you wanna learn how to hit the Alcaraz forehand, click here. You wanna learn the five most common mistakes on the forehand, click here. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.